guys welcome back to my channel so i had to show you guys this new texture curly coils from agape custom wigs and i absolutely love this texture but i had to transform this wig from what it is now into what you saw before first you need the quick blue bleach and powder 30 volume developer and some color corrector red and gold color corrector and you have to mix it all up Okay, so I already have this hair sectioned into whatever the sections that I want to work with. Make sure you see my stitches. They are really, really nice and tight and super close together. <laughs> okay, so I have the hair sectioned out the way I want it. And I just went ahead and applied the bleach to the hair from the ends to about halfway. And I just let it process. Now the length of what I'm working with right now is 18 inches and it is really snug when it's dry but it extends down pretty far when it's really wet it behaves exactly exactly like 4c hair you wouldn't need any extra things to do to try to blend it but today we're bleaching the hair so <laughs> okay so we're just gonna keep applying the bleach until we get to the whole head and then we're gonna let it process for 40 minutes to 50 minutes and Okay, you guys so right after I washed right after I rinse out the bleach I had to wash it with the purple shampoo I'm using the Sally's brand purple shampoo now this is what it looks like after the first time I bleached it the second time I bleached it I used um, it, I bleached it while it was wet so the color didn't lift really well and this is what it looked like after the second time while the hair was wet so it didn't really process properly so I had to bleach a third time and this is the bleach and process for the third time. I thought I had lost my curls, but just wait and see the results, okay? So that was the third time. Now, after I bleached it and I made sure it was dry this time, I went ahead and did a test, test strip to see how the color was going to come out. Now, I did the Radiant Orchard, the hot pink or the hottie pink, and I decided to also add a flamingo pink to the very tips to try to lighten it. And then I also used this Tazama, Taz, what is it? Tanzanite color. I wanted to apply the Tanzanite to the roots so that it would darken up the natural color a bit. But I ended up putting it all over the hair and you'll see what the result is. It's gonna be the really dark shades that you see in the wig okay so that's that blue color you don't have to add it i feel as if that would give you the nice um really deep purple that you see in the universe so yeah i decided to apply the color to the wig darkest on the bottom or darkest towards the roots and the the hottie pink in the middle and the flamingo on the end so it can have like a sort of an ombre color now you wouldn't see this color when it's in an afro but if you did any other styles on the hair you would see it so that's what i did and i put that all the way through the hair and after i finished it i washed the hair a few times i probably washed this hair about three to four times to make sure that i rinsed out enough dye so that my color comes through now this is what that color looked like in the end after i washed it i conditioned it 
um, left it for about 20 minutes and I combed it out to try to define the curls and this is what I got now this color reminds me exactly of a nebula I mean that pic that nebula picture in the beginning was not by accident this wig is an, is a nebula afro okay we're gonna call it the nebula afro and I think the color could be brighter but for my skin tone this shade is the perfect shade okay so this is the inside of this wig it is very nicely neatly stitched the gaps are really big because I can't really put them close together because that afro would be enormous wefts are not cut and so if you take it out you would just get the same amount of hair that you sent to me to make that wig for you you would just get that back so over here I'm just spraying it with some water to moisturize the curls so I can fluff it up and just wear a giant 4C afro. Okay, so now that my slave friend is ready, I am going to put her on and I am going to slay. Okay guys, so thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Let me know what you want to see next with this hair. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video.